three, two, one. Yo, what's happening, guys? It's your boy Wolf here. We are back, and what we've got for you today is a very special video indeed. But before we get started, guys, if you want to drop a like on today's video for me, drop a comment down below and hit that subscribe button to my channel and hit that bell so you do get a notification every time I do drop a brand new video. If you can do all four of them things, word on the street is you will pack R9 from your next pack. Don't shoot the messenger. I do believe it to be true. And also, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you for the love and appreciation you guys are showing on FIFA 22, especially in particular my custom tactics. You guys have blown me away, really. So from the bottom of my heart, I just want to say thank you. We are on now like 16,000 subscribers, well on the way to 20k. If we could somehow get to 20k before the end of the year, that would be insane. But without any further ado, guys, let's get straight into today's video. We are on my Road to Glory account, and there's a reason for that. The reason being is because I did use these custom tactics on my Road to Glory account, which you guys can see on your screen in front of you. And we did finish rank one. We didn't get red name or anything. The best red that I got from this week was Iago Aspas. <laughs> Doo doo. But this is the team, as you can see. We did get red Vinicius Jr. last week. I have gone and brought Varane this week. Cornets in the team. Alaba, of course, is untradeable, along with Fakir and Robbie Keane. Bruno Fernandes is also untradeable, actually. But yeah, the team's looking very nice now. We are slowly but surely on the road to glory getting there. But you guys aren't here for the team. You guys are here for the custom tactics. And it is a formation that, if any of you guys have remember FIFA 21 and stuff like that, you will remember how good the 5-3-2 used to be. And I have to say, YouTube, having used it this week and getting rank one with it in the weekend league, it, I think it's back, and I genuinely mean this. I do think the 5-3-2 is back. Now, why is it so overpowered and effective? Well, you've got the back three, and then if you use the custom tactics like I use them, you've then got the two wing backs, but they don't really play right back and left back. They kind of play as wingers, if you kind of get one coming from. And then you do have the flat three in the midfield, and then, of course, the two strikers. I feel like two strikers this year, apart from when you can use the 4-2-3-1, because the 4 2 is just always overpowered and good, I feel like two striker formations this year are really where it's at. Because of how, like... Especially on next gen, when the defence automatically drops back, I feel like having two strikers really does help. But there is a big but... If you are someone that does kind of not really struggle, but like attacking isn't their best option, then I'll probably think the 5-3-2 will take an adjustment period for you. It definitely is viable though, 100%, especially with the wing backs bombing forward. It 100% is viable, but there might just be like a massive adjustment period for you guys. So do take that into consideration when using this custom tactics. Don't use it straight away and then in the first game think, oh my God, this is awful. I don't understand it because... Chances are you probably will be like that, especially if you've never used a five in a battle formation before. There is a massive adjustment period with it. But once you get used to that and once you start getting into the swing of things, etc., etc., believe me, you will get there with the 5-3-2. I've used it now for probably about a week. Unbelievable. It's right back to the days with FIFA 21. Trust me, like it is right back into it. But the custom tactics that I use, I hope you guys are ready. Balanced on the defensive style along with 45 width and 60 depth. Remember, because it is base, it is a five bat when defending, right? You guys will see with the player instructions and stuff what I do. But it is a five bat when defending. So I kind of don't really need to play on like my usual 45 to 55 depth. I can up it to 60, which is what I do. Just so then that even though we are playing a five back, it's not too defensive. And believe you me, you will. Like, you will shut out your opponents a lot with playing five at the back. Trust me, it's so good defensively this year. And the annoying thing is, is like, it's really good defensively, but you don't lose anything in the attacking side of the game. It's actually really mad. It's very similar to, just trust me, very, very, very similar to FIFA 21 vibes. How, like, you push your team forward and then they drop back just as quick because it's a five at the back. It is disgustingly overpowered. It's back, YouTube. Get on with the 5-3-2 hype train before other people do so you get that advantage. So, 45 width and the 60 depth. Again, because we are playing 5 at the back, we don't need to lower it to 55. So, 60 is good for me. But remember, just because I use these doesn't mean you have to. You can use a bit of adjustments on yourself and see what works for you. The builder play, you should know it by now, YouTube. If you don't know what builder play I'm using by now, you have not been watching my FIFA 22 custom tactics videos. That is for sure. So I do play balanced and direct passing. I actually did, when I first started using the 5-3-2 a couple of days ago, I did try long ball because of, it is a five at the back. And then if I use long ball, my right wing back and my left wing back will bomb forward straight away kind of thing. But I didn't really enjoy it. So for me, 
balanced and direct passing, kind of like what I use on every single other custom tactic. It just works for me, you guys, on YouTube. So, and if it works for me, I'm not going to sit here and tell you, oh, yeah, use possession. It's really good because for me, it's not. <coughs> it might be good for you, and if it is, take my hat off to you. But for me, direct passing, balanced and direct passing is the two. It, it's the best two you can use this year, in my very humble opinion. And I don't get a lot of stuff wrong when it comes to FIFA, so... The width, I do play on 60. I did actually start playing on 70 because, of course, I was having the wing backs, and you'll see on the playing instructions why that is important. But with the wing backs, I did start off on 70. But as the, the games went on, I lowered it down to 60, and I felt like 60 was my happy medium. You know, when I'm talking about custom tactics, guys, I do like to find that happy medium G spot. And the 60 width was that for me. Seven players in the box. I normally play between any anywhere from five and seven. I do then play on seven just because we are playing a five at the back. Even though when we're attacking, it basically it, it, it attacks like a three at the back. But we are still playing a five-back formation. So I like to have more players in the box than I would normally on like my 4-4-2 or 4-2-3-1 kind of thing. Remember, YouTube, if you're going to take anything from today's video, lower your corners and free kicks down from three and three to two to two. It will stop you getting counter-attacked on. Way more than you ever, ever realise. Just trust me on that. Trust me, trust me, trust me. If you're going to take anything, and I mean absolutely anything, from today's YouTube video, lower the corners and free kicks down from 3 and 3 to 2 to 2. It will help you out tenfold. Now then, YouTube. This is where it gets interesting. Player instructions on the 5-3-2. Both my strikers I just have on getting behind. I did actually try getting behind and stay central because of how the wingbacks play. But I didn't really enjoy that. I just preferred the getting behind, just the flat getting behind. It worked a lot better for me. So because of that, I have both my strikers on getting behind. I did try to stay forward, come back on defence. The basic defence support works best for me. With the getting behind. Again, if you do struggle defensively, put them on comeback. If you do struggle to attack, put them on stay forward. Simple as that. Remember, guys, these are just what I use. So, I would recommend for you to use these. But, excuse me, have a little tweak yourself. Now, my right centre mid, very important, is on get forward and cover centre. My middle centre mid is on stay back while attacking and cover centre. And then my left centre mid is on balanced attack and cover centre. Very important though, YouTube. If you want to use your um, right centre mid on balanced attack and then your left centre mid on get forward, that's completely fine. As long as one of them is on balanced and the other's on get forward, that kind of all that matters. So, for example, me, I'm using my red informed Vinicius Jr. Well, second and form, My red second and form, Vinny Jr. in centre mid. I want him getting forward scoring goals, you know what I'm saying? And with Bruno... I kind of want him on balance. He can get forward if he wants to, and he can stay back if he wants to. And then Frankie De Jong, playing as like my CDM, definitely put him on stay back. And this is where it gets interesting, guys. All three of my centre-backs are on stay back while attacking. But very important when you are playing the 5-3-2, ladies and gentlemen, put both of your wing-backs, so your right wing-back and your left wing-back, on join the attack and overlap. It just kind of, you see that massive gap that you've got between the uh, left centre-mid and left striker and the right centre-mid and right striker? The right wing back and the left wing back will push right up next to your left striker and right striker. Very, very, very overpowered. So 100% use it. Join the attack and overlap. And then last but not least, guys, you should know by now, I never touch my goalkeeper. So if any of you ever touch, let me know actually in the comment section. Do any of you touch the goalkeeper? Because I never do. But if you do as well, let me know what you put on. But that right there, guys, is my 5-3-2 custom tactics that got me ranked 1 this weekend league. Literally, I played all my games yesterday. You'll see in this video on Saturday. Played all my games yesterday on the Friday. Got rank 1 again on the road to glory with the 5-3-2. So I thought, you know what, guys? Let me upload it for YouTube and you guys can show it some love. But remember, thank you for watching, guys. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like on today's video for me. Drop a comment down below. Hit that subscribe button to my channel and hit that bell so you do get a notification every time I do drop a brand new video. And last but not least, Twitch and my Twitter are down in the description below. If you could drop all both of them a follow, I will love you guys forever. But for now, guys, remember, spread the love and positivity. PMA, positive mental attitude. Peace out. One love.